My name is Mark Hogan. I'm Trevor Hogan's brother, a member of Freedom Flotilla 2. Uh, I'd just like to point out that I'm not a member of any political party or organisation, but I'm here in a personal capacity, speaking on behalf of Trevor, his family and friends. I've been in contact with my brother Trevor since he left last Thursday to join up with Freedom Flotilla 2. Morale has been high, especially since the arrival of their cargo of rugby gear on Monday, which had been delayed at customs. Trevor has spoken of his intense pride at seeing their ship, the MV Searsha, with the tricolour flying high as he boarded. He is as proud of his involvement, involvement in the campaign to end the siege on the people of Gaza as he is of his achievements in his sporting career, including representing his country from youth to senior level. Trevor and his colleagues are absolutely determined and confident that they will be successful in bringing about an end to the immoral and illegal blockade on Gaza. They will not be deterred by the malicious and reckless sabotage of the MV Searsha. This outrageous attack has instead reinforced their desire to complete their mission and sail to Gaza with their cargo of humanitarian aid. In the midst of almost overwhelming negativity, despondency and resignation that prevails in Ireland today, it is tremendously uplifting and inspirational to witness the determination of the activists of Freedom Flotilla II to reach out in solidarity with a society that has been systematically dehumanized and humiliated and practically cut off from the outside world for the past five years. I call on the Irish government to have the courage to follow the example of the brave collection of ordinary individuals and to fulfill its obligation to protect its citizens who are engaged in a perfectly legitimate and laudable endeavour. I urge the Irish government not to stand idly by any longer, but to intervene, to contact the Israeli government and ensure the safe passage of Freedom Flotilla II. Freedom Flotilla II poses absolutely no threat to the State of Israel. Israel has no right to obstruct or attempt to board in any way any ship on the flotilla. Trevor's family, friends and girlfriend are 100% <coughs> supportive in his attempt to secure the human and civil rights for the Palestinian people that the rest of us all enjoy. We hope to see him return safe and sound very soon. With stories of young Palestinians spinning rugby balls to each other as is his stated ambition. <laughs>